All right, today we're going to be changing out the WFCO power converter. That is the auto switch that has been driving me nuts for the last six months since I've bought this 2023 27FB. We're going to be installing the Progressive Dynamics model 9100 converter. I run lithium batteries and that's been the issue is this WFCO will switch to blue light and then switch back to green and it's just been a nightmare and I do think it does hurt the batteries a bit so and it's always running <laughs> so I will switch it out here and let's get it done okay the first thing I did was just open my panel I took out the four screws to take off the front cover <clears throat> And then I will take out these screws um, to take out this whole unit. I do recommend turning the power off to do this. Um, and then we should be able to get access to the converter, which is under back there. And then I'll start removing the wires. Um, I did pay about $275 for this one. And it's the lithium, two-stage lithium charger um, converter. So it will be... Uh, a great upgrade and we'll uh, continue on okay now we have the box screws un, un, uh, unscrewed and the unit is free to move so I'm going to make a little bit of room pull some wires out um, so I can get access to the converter um, be sure to unplug your camper from shore power um, and disconnect your battery at the battery um, would be a safe precaution here before you start digging in, into taking this out thanks bye bye Okay, on the 27FB that I'm using, it's under the pantry here is where the access is to the, to the converter um, behind the, the breaker panel. The nice thing is there is enough wires for me to, to pretty much get everything I need out of the way without disconnecting any of this. So I should be able to work uh, on getting that out without having to disconnect any wires. You may have to remove some wires. Um, just make sure you mark them and, 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 and to get this enough room to get in here but um, luckily in this specific instance I should have enough room to do this without doing that. So most power converters are going to have a, a 15 20 amp plug um, that goes into the unit to power it and then you'll have to just connect the wires in here that you take off the other one. Um, and then the plug would then go into the breaker box unit which then is controlled by the fuses and in this case you know my my converters on that fuse there so I will continue on but that will be what I'll do I'll take this out take out the screws slide this out and then we'll uh, mark the wires that come off of that and put them on the new one that should be good all right I got the screws out the nice thing is I mean I don't know if it's nice or not but they only had two screws in the side they had access to so um, that sh that will come out easily here and we should be good to go okay I was able to get that out relatively easily um, I just unplugged the 120 volt plug that was into the breaker box um, to remove the power to the unit and then we've got a, a negative white, a positive red and a ground that go into the 12 volt side, um, the 12 volt system that powers your 12 volt appliances. I will disconnect those and move those into the new progressive dynamics converter. It should be relatively easy, the grounds on the back negative positive on the front and the footprint size you can see is just a little bit different so probably like three inches further out wider and then we've got like an inch shorter on the on the length so it's three inches wider a little bit shorter on the length I should have plenty of room to, to get it in there um, I will probably try to organize the wires a little bit but um, it should fit fine, and then once we get that in, we'll, we'll let you know how it works. Okay, so as far as tools, um, you will need a, I think it's a 532nd Allen key, Allen wrench, to loosen the, the, the nuts to let the wires out. And then the only other thing I've used so far is like a Phillips to take all the screws out, and then the screws holding this in. So, so far, just a 532nd Allen key and a Phillips screwdriver or screw gun whatever you want to use okay I'm just finalizing tightening the ground in 
uh, I will say the the Allen keys to get the wires out of the WFCO. I don't know if they use an impact or what, but you do have to really crank on them to break the the break them loose. Um, and it's fine. I mean, just just so you know, if it seems hard, just make sure you're going counterclockwise, and um, they will break loose. So I mean, like I had to really work to pop these ones loose, but just go counterclockwise. Maybe use a little torque, and, and it popped for me. So so I um, got the negative in. I've got the ground on and now I just got to put the uh, positive on in and we should be good to go. All right, I was able to get the uh, progressive dynamics converter in uh, basically where the WFCO was. Um, you will notice a little difference in the mounting of the screws. So the screw holes are going to be on each end versus the progressive dynamics was up front here so you'll just have to kind of get some screws in from the sides which is fine it shouldn't be a big deal at all um, the heat dissipation panels are here I decided to do that because there is a grate in the front side of this that you know when I have the AC on or it's cool in here this should help the heat dissipate a little faster than having it pointed back in there um, I don't know if that's true or not but that's just what I decided to do um, so that should be good and I will get it mounted in I'm just trying to get my last screw in here uh, got to kind of just negotiate your way through here oh shit oh I just all right there we go, there we go. oh yeah it's solid all right, I have the Progressive Dynamics um, two-stage lithium converter charger in. Um, I'm negotiating the wires, kind of organize those back up a little bit. I'm going to plug in the 120 volt or the power to the converter. Um, before I really screw everything back in, I think I'm going to turn everything on and just test it and make sure everything's working. Batteries put back up, and I have the uh, shore power hook back up. So I'm going to turn the inverter on, and now I'll go check uh, my voltage. It's also good to see the, the bolt voltage is getting pushed up to where it should be for a lithium when it's charging. That's, I'm going to check my Victron shot. Alright, my last screw in here. All right. So you can see we got the screws back in, the breaker box, there's the heat dissipation flaps facing out, the fan will be there, plenty of room to get some airflow in there, um, and then there's a mesh screen here on the cover box that I'll put on that'll let kind of cool air get in there, so that should help keep it cool. Get that fan running less, kind of that fan noise on the WFCO was so annoying, it's running a lot. Okay, we got the new Progressive Dynamics installed. This is no longer what I use. It does not work very well, as everyone probably knows. It is basically charging right now. It's quiet. There's no fan running. I'm sure it will kick on time to time, but this thing was always having the fan run. It was always in um, lead acid mode. I could get it to go to lithium mode. If I let my batteries drain like 30-40% and then turned it off, turned it back on, all of a sudden it would be blue for maybe half a day or a day and then it would switch back to green. So I just couldn't deal with it anymore. So it's for sale. If anyone wants a awesome WFCO auto detect converter, hit me up.